Hello and welcome back to Skyrim A through Z mods lore and more. I am as always Inquisitor Aura and I will be your guide through the lore rich world of Nern. Week 4. Look at that. We got a whole month underneath our belt now. Uh, in celebration we're going to go take a look at one of the longest standing races on Tamriel, the Altmer. Now the Altmer are believed to be the direct, unaltered descendants of the Aldmer, who were the first folk, or the fair folk, who came from Aldmeris and settled in the Somerset Isles in the pre merithic era. Uh, now, the transition between Altmer and Aldmer isn't very clear, as the Altmer have seemed to have changed by staying exactly the way they are. They had the same skin, they had the same eyes, same general mentality, it's like they didn't change at all. It's like they are the the father race of all other myrrh and myrrh blooded individuals on Tamriel. Uh, they are originally, as I said before, from Old Maris, which is a continent to the south of Tamriel, and they settled primarily on the Somerset Isles. Now, social classes during the Merithic era led to some of the old myrrh people splitting off and traveling across Tamriel to build new societies. Uh, they became the Aelids, or the Heartland High Elves, who settled in modern-day Cyrodiil, the Chimmer, who became the Dunmer and settled in Morrowind, the Bosmer, who moved into Valenwood, the Orsimer, or Orcs, who spread across Tamriel but eventually founded a small nation called Orsinium, the Maurmer, who are actually not a playable race, or Sea Elves, who live on an island far to the south of Somerset called Pyandonia. They were either banished there from Somerset Islands or separated before uh, they actually left Old Maris. And then we can't forget about the Bretons, who are mixed Nord and Mare heritage. Now, of, of, we say that the Aldmer are the parent, and the Altmer are the parent race of Aldmer, but Nobody's actually sure where the Dwemer and the Falmer came from, as uh, both races were encountered on Tamriel when the Atmorans conquered Skyrim, but it's believed that they still share a common ancestry. Now, when we think of the Altmer, especially in terms of Skyrim and ESO, we are thinking of the Aldmeri Dominion. Now, there have been, in fact, three Aldmeri Dominions over the course of Tamriel's history. The first Aldmeri Dominion wasn't actually founded until the Second Era, and it's said to be Queen Aaron's brainchild. This, of course, was the first Aldmeri Dominion, and this is the Aldmeri Dominion that is currently active in Elder Scrolls Online. The second Aldmeri Dominion uh, was also formed in the Second Era, but much later. Uh, when the Altmer conquered Valenwood over a dynastic dispute, they thought they ruled it they, because the Bosmer are their cousins. Uh, so they came and basically took the place over. And then the third Aldmeri Dominion, which is the one that most people are going to be familiar with, uh, which was founded in the 22nd year of the Fourth Era during the aftermath of the Oblivion Crisis, which included the events of the Void Knights and the Battle of the Red Ring, in which they got their asses kicked, of the signing of the White Gold Concordat that ended the Great War, the banning of Talus worship, and the Second Treaty of Stross Mackay, which got them out of Hammerfell. Now, they live primarily on the Somerset Isles, which actually they have recently renamed to Alinor. Uh, it is an archipelago off the western coast of Valenwood, and it is uh, home to many very important places. Uh, the first of these places is another tower, like Greensap and the White Gold Tower. Uh, this is one of the boundaries between Oblivion and Skyrim. This is called uh, Crystal Lake Law or the Crystal Tower, and uh, the Aldmer built it when they first settled on the Somerset Isles. The second place is Arteum. Now, Arteum is the island home of the Sigic Order. It is actually the third largest island in the Archipelago, and home to another tower called the Sephora Tower, which was there when the Aldmer settled in Alinor. Um, but as of 
a century before the start of the Civil War in Skyrim, Arteum has actually disappeared. So nobody is actually sure where it went. Nobody's sure what happened to the Psychic Order. It is just gone. Um, the Somerset Isles actually keeps them really well protected. Uh, they have no problem just cutting contact completely off from the world. Uh, before the establishment of the Third Elmeri Dominion, uh, there was actually a 70 year silence bef uh, between their last contact and when the Thalmor ambassador rode up to the gates of the White Gold Tower. Uh, making his demands of the Empire with the banning of Talos worship and um, the removal of the blades uh, before he dumped the bucket, so to speak, of human heads onto uh, Emperor Titus Mead II's front porch. Um, <laughs> it does, uh, the separation, does, it gives them a large amount of freedom and a large amount of seclusion, which they seem to. Uh, they seem to like. They they block themselves off usually during times of internal struggle, which is what many believe led up to the creation of the Third Old Mary Dominion. And uh, there are stories of many Maramore raids uh, before they were crippled by Altmer forces and sent packing. Not much is known of the geography of the Somerset Islands, as foreigners are just not welcome there. If you are not Myrrh, excluding Orsimer and Bretons, you are not welcome on Somerset Isles, and that is that. That is that is the end of it. You can just you can just go away. Um, their culture, uh, the Aldmer are very much a high and mighty sort of race. They're almost inherently assholeish. Um, they have very strict societal hierarchy and rigid cultural expectancies. Uh, most of the offshoots of the Aldmers, obviously the Dunmer and the Shimmer and the and the Aelid, they all left because of re religious persecution and social inequality. So when things like this arise on the Somerset Islands, they the Aldmer don't really understand how to deal with it. They just expect the problem to go away, which has led to its fair share of issues. Um, there have been stories passed around of eugenic infanticide and ethnic cleansing. Now we know that the ethnic cleansing has actually been taking place because there has been evidence of that happening in Valenwood. Uh, but the eugenics program that they're basically running, they're not really sure if that's actually taking place. Um, it is believed that nine out of ten Altmer infants were killed because of imperfections. And being a very perfectionist race, this is obviously a very big problem. Uh, nobody is really sure if the stories were fabricated or if they were covered up later, but the Altmer are denying it. Their small numbers do seem to lend to the idea of some sort of cleansing of that nature taking place. Now, uh, a big part of their culture revolves around displaying their social status. Now, they see, they think they're better than everyone else, and this is the reason why. Their creation story states that when Lorcan tricks Magnus into creating Nern, uh, they, the Altmer, the, the, their ancestors, were deities, that they were gods, and they were trapped on Nern uh, when Lorcan was destroyed and Magnus made his escape. So they have been spending their entire lives trying to get their divinity back, and that is why they're very firm believers in we're better than you, and this is ultimately the reason why the Old Mary Dominions were formed in the first place, is to reassert their control over the lands of men and myrrh. And they have worked in the past, and it is currently at work in Skyrim as we speak. Okay, so the quest we're going to be taking a look at this week is actually not helping the Altmer or the Thalmor or any of those guys. We're actually going to be killing them, a lot of them. We're going to be killing them in droves. Uh, and it's missing in action. And there's actually three quest givers for this quest. The first one, and they're all here in White Run. The first one's going to be over here. And this is Fralia Greymane Stan. Now, she's not actually here right now. She's a little old lady and she's out on lunch or something. But she's going to be having an argument with a pair of Battleborns, Ulfrid and 
Itilaf, who are basically the the, the heads of, of the Grey Mane family. And uh, she's trying to convince them to give up information on her son, Thorald. They're trying to tell her that he's dead, and she doesn't believe them. Make it quick. And you overhear this conversation, and you talk to her. She will tell you to go and meet her in her home. Like I said, you're not going to get any prerequisites for this quest. You just have to kind of overhear the conversation. Um, the second way you get this quest is actually by coming over here, pardon the menu, and pickpocketing John Battleborn. Now, you're going to see this right here, the letter from Olfina. Olfina, of course, being a gray mane being a big problem as this is a member of House Battleborn. Now you take that out of his pocket and I'm not gonna actually do that but you can take that out of his well, pocket and then you can use it to blackmail him to get the information that you want because of course he doesn't want his daddy to know that he's in love with Greymane. The third way you go about it is that you track down uh, Idoloff Battleborn and you talk to him. Now for that to work you actually have to have a very high uh, speechcraft skill. You're talking at least a 75, which I do not have, so I'm not going to do it. However, I did already talk to Fralia, and now I'm going to go into her home, and I'm going to get the quest. I am apparently going to have to unlock the door first, though. So. so, pickpocket your way into the house. Lockpick. Oh, for now, lock is giving me an awful lot of trouble. There we go. You're going to come in here and you're going to give her a talk. You're going to say hi, what's up, even if she's not in here at the moment. You're going to eventually hear uh, a man's voice yelling at you to stop what you're doing. And it's going to be uh, her son, Avelstein. Now, Avelstein is on the run from the Imperials because of his Stormcloak tendencies. His loyalties are not too the Imperials, and they are looking for him. However, uh, he's going to come out and he's going to try and attack you. Frawley is going to throw him off. She's going to be like, hey look, she's trying to help. Don't, don't, don't do anything bad. It's cool. And uh, they're going to ask you together, they're going to ask you to go into House Battleborn and find proof of uh, their involvement in Thorald's captivity and or possible death. And you're going to do that. So you're just going to hop back out of the house. Honestly, doing this during the day is actually a very good idea because then there is nobody in house Battleborn. So what you're going to do is you're going to come over here to their house. And you're going to pick the log and you're going to get in there. There's old Fred Battleborn. And you can persuade him into giving up the information if you can. Tr you can try. I doubt. I doubt you'll be able to. Okay, so here we are in House Battleborn, and we're going to be looking for a missive. Now, the missive is going to be on the first floor in an office adjoining the bedroom. So let me just go ahead, and sneak over here. We don't really actually need to sneak over here, but we're going to sneak over here anyways because. Screw it, why not? I'm gonna break in through all of the doors and there's gonna be... I did pick the lock to get in the house, I just didn't show it in the video. And you're gonna have to break into the office. I kinda wish I kept the skeleton key for this, but that's okay. Get in here real quick. take this, you know, you read it later, and you're going to deliver this to House Greymane. Sneak back out past the gourds on the floor, and back out into White Run. Now, I, I'm a thief, I play a thief character. Leary, if you can't tell, is a thiefy age character. Um, I usually try to rob the place blind after that, but eh, not really necessary here, so just go back in to the house and talk to that was dead. You're not supposed to be in here. Okay, after you've delivered the notice, you need to find a way to get Thorald out of prison. Now Thorald is being held in 
Come to North Watch Keep. Watch Keep is all the way up here next to Solitude. And I'm just gonna fast travel up there because it's easier. And this, once again, also has a couple of different options. Unfortunately, neither one of these are gonna do you any good, but they're interesting. You're gonna walk up to the guard, and you're gonna hear tell him that you're here for Thoral Greymane. He's gonna laugh in your face. So that's not gonna work. Now, you could actually choose to travel to Solitude and talk to uh, General Tullius, but General Tullius is gonna deny your request as well and telling you it's too much trouble, so... If you wanted to make the little side quest, by by all means, be my guest, but I'm not going to. Uh, to get to Thoral, you're going to have to beat some butt. Time to get on these Thalmor right here. Now, there's two ways to do this. Uh, if you had continued to talk to uh, Fralia's son, he would have offered to assist you and he would have met you up here. Um, I, however, have chosen to do this on my own because I enjoy doing things on my own. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to put on the song sword. And we're just going to start murdering Thalmor. You're going to have to get all the way in the keep. And you're going to need to kill pretty much everyone on your way. It's no big deal. There is an interrogator on the inside you're going to want to have to deal with. He's got the key that will let Thorald out. He's also got a key to a nice little chest full of level appropriate loot for you for me for you, level 47. So some money, some, some nice potions, so on and so forth. But you're literally gonna have to take out everyone in here. So let's have some fun. Let's take out some of these Samwar. These guys, as you see, they're in elven armor. Um, are a little higher level. They'd be in glass. But I'm not, so. <laughs> Dead archers. Let's go. And we're gonna bust into the door here. Okay, so for our mod, we're gonna go and hey, just gonna 180 this shit. We're gonna go in completely the opposite direction. The last time we were killing the Yalmer and the Thalmor and all their helpers. Now we're gonna help them. We're actually gonna join them. Uh, this mod is called Aldmeri Dominion Strengthened. Join the Thalmor by Linger2717. And once again, the link will be in the description below. Uh, it is important to note that this is only available to Altmer, Bosmer, and Khajiit characters. Period. And you cannot do this at all on any of those, even on any of those, if you side with the Stormcloaks, which if you're an Altmer, I don't see why you would side with the Stormcloaks. But, you know, there are Altmer who do not believe that the Thalmor are doing good things. You want to join the Aldmeri Dominion, and you're one of those three races? Kick ass. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to come out here, and you're going to go to Solitude, and you're going to head to Castle Dower. And you're going to pop on in here, and yes. you're going to talk to you, talk you to a Thalmor. A, a genuine Thalmor. He's not hard to find. He's pretty much the only Thalmor in here. It's this guy right here. You're going to talk to him. You're going to say, hey, I want to join the Dominion. I'm a high elf. I'm wearing Thalmor robes. I'm cool. Let me join the Dominion. And he's going to be like, okay, go join the Dominion. You need to go white run, and you need to go kill Heimskerr. Yeah, you know that, that guy that stands outside and he's praising Talos at the top of his lungs in the middle of an imperial controlled city? Yeah, that guy. You're gonna have to go kill that guy. Um, I've already done this, because I don't want to show myself murdering Heimsker. I know he's annoying, but he's just a dude and he's just, he just wants to worship his god. And that's it. You come back up here and you turn the quest in and bam, congratulations, you're a member of the Old Mary Dominion. Now this comes with a few perks. In here on the table, actually not in here, you're gonna come up to the steps, come up the steps, and you're actually gonna go into the Thalmor headquarters, which is right here. And you're gonna be able to actually go back to some places if you have already finished the main quest line, if you haven't, that's cool. But if you, uh, if you haven't, have finished it, you're going to be able to come in here, Need and there's people, and there's going to be a key right here, and it's going to be the key to the Thalmor Embassy. You can go back to the Thalmor Embassy, and you'll be able to go back because you will have quests that will be given to you 
throughout all of this. Uh, all of the Just the Car Patrols will be friendly to you. you can sell off that junk. You'll actually be able to go in there and get quests from the Thalmor. So I've brought us back to the Thalmor Embassy just to, to prove that you can actually get back in here. We get back into the Thalmor Embassy, and there will actually be uh, two followers in here for you to pick up as well. We'll go ahead and we'll introduce ourselves to them. As you can see from, from before, the guards kind of actually haven't respawned since I killed them with a the firestorm. <laughs> but, meh, manpower, we've got plenty, right? I'm work, we're good. Head back in here, you'll be able to get quests from Ellen Wynn still. Ellen Wynn will give you more quests. Um, in here. There yeah. you go, you yeah, found more soldiers. <laughs> what this guy is, guy is still here, it's great. Um... Here, this this is your uh, this is one of the two followers. This is Gloril, and she is an archer. She's a Bosma archer. Huh? Brellis here is a bard. Yes. And if you ask her, she will sing you a song of the Thalmor. There is also an Altmer mage running around in here somewhere. I just don't feel like finding him. And the quest that we just went over, Missing in Action, if you are a member of the Elmeri Dominion and you decide to save a Stormcloak supporter for whatever reason you, you think would be necessary, um, you can go to the Northwatch Embassy or the Northwatch Keep and you won't be attacked. You can just walk right in rescue the guy and walk right out with him and it's gonna be no problem well there you have it folks I hope you enjoyed this week's geeky ramblings uh, thank you for watching please feel free to comment below and to subscribe uh, and we will see you again next week I'm gonna, not gonna tell you what I'm doing next week because it might be a surprise but it might not you're just gonna have to come back and find out have a great week